Philip Marufon uh, is a fashion designer, but mainly is a tailor. Uh, I specialize in custom made suits made to measure. So what what I do is actually my, my customer they come and I take my measurement their measurements and, uh, and that's what I use uh, in, in making the in, 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 in that, that, that the, the, the measurements is uh, the, 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 the one that I use uh, uh, in, in drafting and cutting the, the suit. I grew up uh, in, in, in a rural setup in Chirumazu. Uh, that's where I went to to school up to a level, up to all level, and then after that I went to to different mission where I trained as a tailor for for three for three years. What he was into sewing industry, so he he worked in in Bulawayo and then later came to Harare. So. Uh, and also as well, actually, because after I finished my my my, my school uh, life was tough, so I had to find ways. I have to find something that can, that can, that I could earn money from in order to to support my my young brothers and sisters, including my grandma, including my grandma who was at uh, at, at home. So I wanted something that could uh, sustain me. So, uh, of course, I wanted I wanted something uh, s s better, better job or like uh, you know we used to call it a white collar job kind of. So because uh, I I realized the need for support at home, so I just decided to go for just like a dressmaking course like a six months period but it it couldn't come the way that way so I decided to go to 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 the foreign mission there and then I trained for three years. Uh, actually my and my more inspiration is uh, through through researching uh, on, on, on the internet yeah, that's my main inspiration of becoming a designer and, and becoming a, a tailor. Uh, of especially on what I on on the things that I specialize the suits you see. So I do a lot of research. I do. Uh, uh, I I get inspired by a lot of uh, uh, clothing companies. My challenges of being a uh, somebody who is little like me and many other people uh, for example my wife is also we are, we are of the same same height uh, it's difficult for someone as a second is out there to I recognize what this is a big and an, an old person uh, that must be treated the same as any other person out there uh, so these are some challenges that we just take it as it is because you cannot change. You cannot change that. Um, and also another issue, you could, you know, even small kids can challenge you. <laughs> yeah, they they think they found somebody that that they can challenge a fight. Yeah, so it's something that uh, our community needs to learn. Yeah, there are some other kids that they they know me around. Those ones, like any other person, and around, they don't have any problem with that. This is so and so, and yeah, there's no problem. But for to somebody, uh, we find a lot of challenges. But we just try to make our life easy because we are it on, on this earth. There's nothing we can do. 
uh, and uh, accept Mungu, accept what we are, yeah. Mm -hmm. But not the fact that we, you could, I, I say, do not touch the person. I'm, I'm comfortable with who I am, the way I am. Shakaranja, I can't see when I'm married. In Nina, I grow kumusha, and uh, I used to to go and eat keto. So by then, that time, for me, I will go for the moment out there. Um, you meet a lot of people in, in a lot of one one mazira asiana asiana. Like I was saying, I feel could I have been challenged there. So in that case, in those mechedes, you know, you know, you know, deep out in the way, courage because I've been challenged by every person, and then I feel out. I can challenge, I can make a fight. So I've been fighting with a lot of, uh, a lot of small kids of my, of my age. Because even with coral, because they feel good, they can challenge me. So I end up fighting them. <laughs> so those are the challenges, yes. And uh, another challenge, Nekuti Lichikura and Daga Raskiwa never beric while this time I was too young. The first incident it was that my father passed on in 1995 when I was in grade 5. Ah, uh, in 1995, yeah, that's when I was in grade 5. So, yeah, yeah it affects it in Juno Fita Mana, it's Pono Mochikura. Saka. Then after that, my mother then passed one again in 1997. That's when I was in grade, I was doing form two. Uh, then though Pakashaya and my bank, I was staying na 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 kuku. So. Then go go pa pa kasha ya mama wangu wakati ah ini na cannot continue to to stay with with these kids because my 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 daughter is past one so she she was like acting up so I faced challenge of uh, traveling a long distance uh going to school we had to wake up very early around four o'clock in the in in, in the morning. And start to walk about a, a distance of about two and a half hours going to school. Yeah. So, but uh, I'm, I was glad that I had in Akumbu, Rane Pumboy, Kurambashkoro. I keep on going even though it was hard. Uh, Ama Bispo was established in, in 2014. Uh, Payaka established one that a partnership with uh, an, 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 another friend of mine, and then we decided to part ways later on. Um, so, this guy is the person that gave me the inspiration uh, that I must venture into business that I'm doing of making custom made suits. I haven't reached the, the place that I wish could in the because right now uh, I wish could in this this and she produce a ready to wear and then I sell them are ready to wear or maybe open a shop. Mm -hmm. mm. So that's my wish and also I'm working on logistics in the Kutindi, this is one second in the Chita, and the Chita was a foot is in my piece of shoes. Oh, right. Yes, because I have started already to put a suit out the Mishima machines, actually. So I haven't, I'm, I'm not yet done yet. So I wish probably maybe by next year I'll, I'll be starting. A bespoke as well, you know, it's not ever put it. You can bring your own style, the way you, you explain what you want to a, to, to a tailor. And then a tailor always exactly what you want. 
Yeah, so far the, the celebrity that I dressed recently is a uh, free man. Uh, so yeah, and uh, there's also I also dressed a number of people, including uh, Comrade Fatso. Uh, he was he was styled by uh, Tendi Kamsky, and I also dressed. Uh, uh, I also dressed Philip Chiangwa. Another uh, celebrity that I have designed is a, is a guy from South Africa. I have showed twice because in Fashion Week, and I also travelled to 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 Maputo uh, from Vodacom. It's Vodacom, Mozambique Fashion Week. Yeah, I, I also uh, showcased there and uh, pan-african designers. Muno mu Zimbabwe, muna, it's like, there's a time ya swanga, ya fashion has been boosted because of fashion shows. There, were, there was a lot of fashion shows. So now there's no more, no one is doing any, any fashion show and uh, publicity-wise, it's so so terrible. We need support. Uh, like people can go va va value designers. Not if you are a designer, you are treated no you like they treat you like uh, any other person who is in in town or in jambo or in much busier there so that's the challenge uh, and also who can a platform that will publish you know public you know that can you know quantum who publish those designers who to have in a vavasi can i'm a born again uh, i mean i'm a believer according to zandino zita the shokoramari and this will be Mari Ashti Sika, Tagasia Niso, and a purpose. So you should not be worried about the Nagasiko and Nagadayana, Nagadayana, and Nundi Sika. But the, the truth is, you must find out why, what is it really that made Kutumarandi Sika and Nagadai, Chicha, who parts of Homsu Pang. And our one is also, you gonna have peace of mind.